Hello, everyone, and welcome to WVC Live Presentations on the Plaza, coming to you live from the expo floor at the 86th Annual Western Veterinary Conference. I'm your host, Emily Barda. Have you ever noticed your pet listening to music? Okay, well, let's take that a step further. Why are animals so profoundly affected by music? What is it about their hearing that not only attracts them to some sound, but conversely makes them flee from other sounds? Here to talk to us more about frequencies, the invisible trigger of animal behaviors, is Janet Marlowe, who is a composer and the CEO of Pet Acoustics. It's truly amazing, but sound, which is completely invisible to us, has a profound effect on us, and particularly on animals that hear much more than we do. So I'm Janet Marlowe, and it is a pleasure to be here. I am composer and a researcher and CEO of Pet Acoustics, but I am also fifth generation musician in my family, and I've practiced and performed music all over the world. Every time I practiced a guitar or sang or played the piano, my pets would gravitate to my side. And this happened all my life. Animals have a very profound effect of music, and I've been passionate to understand why. So I'd like to share with you some other musician friends I have that also love the performance and practice of music. I love this next one. He gives it all he's got. Snowball, famous cockatoo. YouTube sensa sensations, isn't that amazing? Well, in the air travel tone, volume, and frequencies, and they affect us tremendously. Everywhere we go, there's music. There's music in the gas stations, in stores, wherever we go, at the dentist, all to modify our behavior. Well, animals hear more than we do, and therefore, sound has a tremendous impact on them as well. So where did this all begin for me? my beloved cat, Osborne. Osborne loved to go outside. He was 15 years old, and he wanted to go in the woods where he loved to explore. Unfortunately, he was lost for two days, and we were desperate to find him. We called him, called him, and gave him our special whistle that always brought him inside. When he finally came out, he was badly injured. We whisked him to our animal hospital where he had been given great care and taken into the ICU. When I went to the ICU, I realized there was no music playing for him. Unfortunately, I went, he had passed away, but I went to sing to him for five days, which soothed him. When he passed the following day, it struck me profoundly. Yes, all my pets had appreciated the sonic environment of music. And why is that? What is it about their hearing that is so sensitive? So I did research, and I contacted universities around the world and got data on what is the frequency contact and decibel range of different animal hearing. Um, there are universities that study the hearing of chickens, bats, dolphins, dogs, cats, horses, and birds, which are my particular interest. Well, you can see from this chart that our human hearing range is really quite limited in comparison. Horses and humans have the most closely related hearing range of any mammal on the planet. And I find this fascinating because of the amazing human bond that humans and horses have with each other. Our dogs hear twice as much as we do, twice as much. When they go running to the window barking and we go out to the window to see what they're barking at, we don't see anything they are clearly hearing what is going on outside, and it is triggering their behavior. 
Cats hear three times more than we do. You can follow a cat's ears and really understand them better as pet owners. Because they are moving towards sound and away from sound all day long. That's why you see them, and now you don't. So I took this information of acute hearing sensitivities to sounds and frequencies, and I did clinical studies. I composed music that is truly species-specific. Imagine a dog and a cat will appreciate certain kind of music that a horse wouldn't appreciate and have an effect on. So I took this clinical studies, and I first went to the veterinary hospital where I had taken Osborne. That was 15 years ago. They experimented with it. Today, they have the music in the ICU, during operations, post-op, the kennel, and the lobby where a lot of pet owners come in and can feel a lot of stress when they bring their pets. So I'd like to share with you a video of the Fidelco Guide Dog Foundation in Bloomfield, Connecticut, where I recently went with my music and my speaker system to help calm their German shepherds. Imagine a kennel with 50 German shepherds training to be service dogs and triggering each other's barking behavior and agitation. You will see this video of Kiwi and Reuben and it took two minutes for them to calm down completely. You can hear the other dogs barking in the kennel as well. Reuben getting very agitated, and now one minute sitting down. And Kiwi's going, Laying down, calm. And another minute later, Kiwi completely relax along with Reuben. Imagine that, two minutes to help an agitated animal be calm. So I'd like to share another video with you of Bernadette Vinci, who was kind enough to do a testimonial to share the articulation of how to use music in the kennel environment and an animal hospital. She is the director of the Animal Specialty Center, and this is her articulation. My name is Bernadette Vincey, and I'm the hospital director at Animal Specialty Center. Um, we use pet acoustics here in our hospital to help the animals who are all alone in the cages, and a lot of them are very ill, and the music helps to calm them down. I was so excited about this that I even uh, purchased a speaker to use at home, where I find it's absolutely advantageous. I'm gone sometimes for 10 to 12 hours, and my pets know immediately when I put the music on, pet acoustic speaker, that it's time for them to relax. They automatically now lay down and relax before I even leave the door. And it's great, especially one of my um, dogs has some separation anxiety, and I've just seen such a huge, huge difference. And we're very lucky to be able to offer this to our pets here, and our clients feel so much better knowing that their pet is listening to nice, calming music, and that this will help them heal. It makes them almost feel like they're at home. It's much more of a comfort level for them, and it's a very safe, secure environment for them. I'm very grateful to uh, Bernadette for, for giving me that testimonial because for a veterinary office where there's so much going on, having species-specific music is a very profound tool. So what is the difference between animal hearing and human hearing? Well, quite simply, we hear in stereo, and the term is psychoacoustic juxtaposition, meaning that psycho meaning brain, acoustic meaning sonic environment, and juxtaposition, meaning that we actually live on two different levels of sound in our environment with our pets. So they hear in mono, we hear in stereo. So if, you're, if an animal in the wild hears a shot of thunder, they're going to run. They're not going to spend any time analyzing it where we would. 
So animals that experience separation anxiety, uh, thunderstorm nerves, like for example dogs, will be anxious and can be clearly destructive. And cats that hear three times more than we do uh, will be very anxious and have noise phobias. Birds, for example, that pluck their feathers, we put them in silence in our homes where actually they are communal and community needing call and response bird song so that they can feel a sense of companionship. We take them out of their community and you can actually modify that. Horses, they're so sensitive to sound that if you have rain dropping on a barn that has a metal roof, you will clearly see their agitation. This is an example of my composing. I actually go into take the data from my chart, and you'll see those very high invisible frequencies that we don't hear. And I bring the music out of the alert level, the hypervigilance level, and bring it into what I call the green zone or the comfort zone. And I can do this with each track and with each style of music. And lo and behold, in 15 years, it works. So what style of music? I'm sure some of you play your radio or your television. What style of music do, do animals like? It's not so much that you're playing Chopin for them or Metallica or, or James Taylor, but it's actually the frequency content of the music that will either bring them into an alert level or bring them into a state of calm and balance in the environment. I never use human voice because that again brings them up into an alert level and I never use percussion. They like calm. Remember the terms fight and flight? Fight, flight, fight. Every, we would think that animals do that all day. They would be exhausted after the day. The point of it is, is that they are seeking balance in the environment just like we do. So I'd like to play for you some videos of what the music is so you can hear for yourselves. Dogs and cats prefer long, sustained tones. And this is all after a lot of research. And also instruments that are like violins, guitars, harps, flute, a lot of sustaining instruments because they rest eight to 10 hours a day. Here's an example of music for dogs and cats. nice and rest. It would be soothing for you as well. Pet owners like it too. It gives them a chance to be calm with their pets. Music for horses, completely different. They're rhythmic creatures. They walk in 2-4 and 3-4 and 4-4 four, four time. Therefore, strong melodies is very much part of the music that I put in. Here's a sample. That's a special speaker system that my company produces for barns. Horses live in air more than dogs and cats, and the frequencies and thunderstorms and bar barometric pressure have a tremendous effect on them. Now for avines. Embedded in the music and nature sounds. Sounds of other birds' calls. And it's also surround-like, so we're actually bringing a sense of the outdoors for them to be indoors. Quite pleasant. So what are the benefits of, first of all, understanding 
how animals hear, which is one of the most overlooked causes of behavior, stress, and health issues. Um, first of all, music and understanding your pets balances the sonic environment. Very often, we don't hear their world because their world is invisible to us. But they're spending their time in your home or in your kennel or in your veterinarian hospital using their hearing as a survival instinct. So by using music that is species-specific, you will guarantee their sense of calm and de-stressing them. It's an easy pet owner tool. You can put on music five minutes before you leave your house, and you will find that the music will be calming to them, and they'll be ready and happy and feel in balance, ready for their walk with you. Results are measurable and repeatable. I've been doing this for 15 years, and I have anecdotes and clinical studies from people around the world that use the music to be absolutely repeatable. Separation anxiety, thunderstorms, all of these are important issues that are uncontrollable by us, but can be guaranteed if you use certain music and speakers and understand how that can be of benefit to them. So my company, Pet Acoustics, which I established in 2009, is a way of taking these compositions and finding products that are the most easy and best for pet owners and veterinarians to use to calm their pets. This is called Pet Tunes, and it is a Bluetooth speaker embedded with music for dogs, cats, horses, and birds. And quite frankly, all you have to do is turn it on and leave it on all day. And I'm dedicated to finding all the solutions I can for pet owners. I did Google, and I did try to find some commercial uses for humans that couldn't you, so you can appreciate how much animals can hear. But unfortunately, I don't think this is going to go very far. I would like to end my talk with you with um, a philosophical statement, because I believe that all the animals that, we, that enter our lives are triggers for different paths and take us in different directions. So the philosophy for my beautiful dog, Rags, is follow the trail of an animal into the human heart and you will find a better world. Thank you very much. And ladies and gentlemen, that's Janet Marlowe, who is a composer and the CEO of Pet Acoustics. If you would like more information about how sound affects animal behavior, be sure to visit PetAcoustics.com.